Hi, I'm Matthew from the Economics Department at the Reserve Bank. Our latest analytical note looks at the various metrics we can use to assess house price sustainability here at the Reserve Bank. House prices are considered sustainable when they are aligned with the outlook for the fundamental drivers of the housing market. We also have to consider the financial constraints that are facing households. If household incomes are becoming more stretched as households take on more debt when house prices increase, this could indicate a build-up of risk in the housing market. It could also indicate that house prices are growing at a faster rate than a sustainable by income growth. Next we look at investors. They have to make the decision as to whether to invest in housing or an alternative investment. If the returns on housing become too low relative to alternative investments, this could suggest that house prices may need to come down to realign the returns on housing investments and alternative options. Finally, we need to keep in mind the supply conditions in the housing market. When supply is not responsive enough, rents may face upward pressure. This will flow through to higher house prices through the decisions of households and investors. So what does our paper tell us? Our current metrics suggest that house prices have become more unsustainable over the past 12 months. Households have to borrow more debt relative to their income to purchase a property, and incomes may become more stretched as interest rates normalise. The relative benefits of home ownership also appear to be declining for both households and investors. Furthermore, we have seen a very strong supply response over the past year, which could place downward pressure on both actual prices and fundamental values. As we undertake more research in the housing market, this will contribute towards the further development of our framework and metrics. Namahi and thanks for watching.